Why is it important to consider having inspections done before placing your home on the market for sale? Hi, I'm Sandra Fordion with Angle & Volkers. When and why should you consider having inspections done prior to listing your home on the market? In our area, it is customary to have the buyer pay for the inspections, but when would it be advantageous for a seller to do them prior to going active? I don't always recommend this, but here are a few examples as to why having inspections done prior to listing the home is helpful. It can end up saving you time and money. As a seller, you want to be aware of the condition of your property, and we don't want any unexpected costs to come up that you weren't aware of. I've seen termite inspections well over $35,000. Imagine getting a termite bill for $35,000 and the only way the buyer will buy the home is if it's fixed or paid for. But you've already purchased another home and you need that $35,000 to qualify for your next home. This would create a huge problem. What about this? Let's say you found out that the home you're selling needed a new roof or air conditioning unit to be replaced. You could do a few things sell the home as is and disclose the issues, not sell at all, or take what needs to be done and fix it. The idea behind getting inspections done prior is so that there are no unexpected surprises that could financially hurt you later. I want the seller to be aware of any additional expenses that could possibly arise from the sale of their home. The inspections I recommend are standard, customary inspections that a buyer would do. I recommend a home inspection, a roof inspection, and a termite inspection. In most cases, you have the option to pay for these upfront or when escrow closes. In regard to the home and termite inspections, it's helpful, but not mandatory, to make sure all of the health and safety items are fixed, as well as any section one termite work identified, which includes dry rot, leaks, and of course termites. These are very common requests that buyers have. It helps the seller because they have much more assurance that they will actually net what it is that they thought when going into escrow. It gives you, the seller, peace of mind that the buyer won't ask for unreasonable or outlandish repairs. It also cuts down on inspection contingency times. Having inspections done prior also protects the seller if they have a replacement property to purchase and need every penny out of their sale to secure and close on their new purchase. Also, the buyer is more confident that they are buying a sound home that is in move-in condition. Also, if there is bank financing on the property, some loan programs require health and safety as well as Section 1 termite work to be completed prior to closing escrow. So with that already being completed, there is further assurance that the loan will go through. To wrap it up, seller, buyer, and lender will have more confidence throughout the entire transaction that the home will actually close. It keeps everyone safe during and after the close of escrow. Once again, I'm Sandra Fordion with Angle & Volkers, and remember, when you do what you love, people love what you do.